Hi friends, so um, I was about to go to bed and then Holy Spirit told me to get up and record this. I've been putting off talking about this because I just, you know, I didn't know, I just truly really did not want to say it in public, but Holy Spirit basically told me to get up. So for those of you who followed me since um, December of last year, I told you I was fasting and praying into the year and asking God what he has to say. And I did not share what God had to say at the time because he told me not to, but this is when he's allowing me to share. And if I seem angry, this is really, I'm not angry. I am truly just kind of speaking from what the Holy Spirit's revealing to me right now and from the past. Two of the words God gave me is, if you are in sin, repent. Because if you are not, if you don't repent, he's going to expose sin. This is going to be a year he exposes sin. And that means pastors, worship leaders, especially worship. Because God has been bringing me back to worship leaders. We don't understand that worship is a gate into the church. Once worship teams are falling, God, the devil has access to most people. Another thing Holy Spirit said is that this year you need to choose. It's either you're serving God or you're not. He does not have time for people who are moving back and forth. There's no more of that. I was about to sleep and, and the Holy Spirit told me to open um, Ezekiel 6. And Ezekiel 6 talks about um, the Israelites and the idolatry that they, they were in and how they served other gods. They were unfaithful to God. They served their own desires. They did all these things. And it says that, I will spare some of them so they can go speak of the things they saw me do to those that I punish. That's an intense thing. And that's what God is saying. If you are in sin, there's some of you who will be spared so you can go speak of what you saw. Because this, this will not be the status quo anymore. God is not going to accept a church that is in sin. God is not, has never. We've, ta- we've, we've, we've seen God's silence as tolerance, as acceptance for our sin. He does not. God does not tolerate sin. He does not accept it. It's not his standard. God will not lower his standard for a person. He is not a respecter of man. The gospel, the work of God, is going to continue with us or without us. And that's something we need to know. And if God was saying, and this is like such an amazing word in my opinion, that for those who have served and those people who have lived according to his plan, according to his word, this will be a season of congratulation. This will be a season of joy. They will enjoy a mercy of God that they've never seen before. But the opposite is to say for those people who are in sin. And that's scary to me. I'm not here to scare or shame. Treat God like he is God. We are serving Yahweh. We are serving the almighty God. A God with all power. You cannot afford to treat it like an ordinary thing. If you are in sin, go through, go, go or confess it. Go talk to somebody. Do something. If you sit in that sin, I promise you, you will be consumed. The devil uses your own desires to finish you. And after you're done and you thought you've enjoyed, you thought you're not seen. It's being seen. I promise you. It's not the year to play with God. Do not let God get to you before you repent. Do not think God is tolerating anything you're doing. He sees. And I'm going to say this as a person who is prophetic. If you have a single person in your church who is spiritually awake, they know. God is not here to hide. I was with my one of my friends earlier today and we were talking and she said that a word God had given her like the, earlier this month or last month and it was the exact same word God had given me in December. I've heard the same thing from multiple other people. God does not, not want to play. When God is putting the church in a place where it's going to move forward, where there's going to be revival, he's going to clean it up. One vision earlier this week God gave me, he showed me him turning stones and God says, I will expose each and everything I will be meticulous. There will be a meticulous cleaning of the church. Nothing will be left unseen, unheard, untalked of. Do not let that be you. God is not here to, to make you feel embarrassed or bad. But you need to understand, sin is there to kill you. It's not there to, to hurt you or stop you. It's there to kill and destroy what you have with God.